everybody, it's Melting Explosive Bloodly here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. So I believe last time we played, we did another double episode. We did an Azazel run and a Judas run, because we... Oh, excuse me. Because oh, we just logged Judas. So now, we are going to play as Eve, because we broke the cycle last time. Now, Eve is a very similar... <laughs> okay, off to a great start. Eve is a very similar character to Samson, where uh, her base stats don't really affect her in the long run, because it's very easy for her uh, in early game. So if you notice with Eve, she actually... Oh, there we go. There's her gimmick. <laughs> you start with very pitiful damage as Eve, um, the lowest damage of any of the starting characters. But, you start with Horror of Babylon, which means when you get to a full heart, you get a speed increase and a damage increase, as long as you're at one full red heart, or below. Wow. Now, we did leave a half heart behind, just in case I reached this level of health. Oh, this is Curse of the Blind, so I'm just gonna kill these fires so I don't accidentally walk into them and fucking kill myself. Ball of Tar, that's an okay item. We have a chance to fire slowing shots, and we leave the trail of slowing creep behind us. Alright. Wait, Eve, her early game is pretty easy. We got a pretty easy sin to start out with, too. I do, in fact, like a good wrath fight. Probably. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Yikes. Alright. I'm playing like a fucking ape right now. We got this, though. We got this. Now, actually, I was gonna say, if that champion drops a full heart, he didn't, but if he did, that would have been awesome, because then. No, oh, perfect. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so Cricket's head is becoming the uh, is quickly becoming the poster child of this channel, which I find hilarious. I think this is the most common item we've got on this on this save. Also, a very good boss to start off with. Ooh, that was a sniper shot. This is like the fourth. Cricket's head we've got on this channel. Which is pretty fucking ridiculous, actually. Because this item is not exactly the most common item in the world. Also, sadly, we're not really going to be able to unlock Magdalene yet. Because as Eve, you want to get rid of your red hearts almost as quick as possible. So, I'm not really going to try to save up red hearts. Unless the devil deal is hot garbage. Which, we have Curse of the Maze, so we should be able to tell if it's hot garbage or not. That's a weird room. But yeah, we pretty much two to three shot everything on the first couple floors because of our Horror of Babylon damage buff on top of Cricket's head. Which means that even without Horror of Babylon, we're actually doing like Horror of Babylon damage. Just with Horror of Babylon, we're doing like close to Polyphemus damage. Yeah, this enemy, yeah, I was gonna say, I did not want to get too close to him. We got it, we got it. Ah. And our next item is... No game. Sure. Now, Lost Contact was an interesting one. It makes it so that your tears block shots. Uh, however, that effect can get kind of annoying if you're fighting a boss or an enemy with a lot of projectiles, because then you can't shoot them in the, until they stop shooting you, because your tears will just get eaten as shields. Hot Bombs, not my favorite item in the game, but... Free bombs are free bombs. We're gonna see what... Okay, I thought I was gonna get some money out of that, but apparently not. And another great thing about Eve is she uh, benefits from having soul health a lot. Because of her predisposition to get... Oh my god. This is my favorite curse in the maze. We just teleport to the same room like... To... And pin, really. Awesome. Yep, and slowing creep against pin... Makes this boss even more of a joke than usual. Let's see what our tarot card is. The Hermit. Free shop. Uh, Book of Belial. Now, we just had a whole run about this item. Book of Belial and Judas's Shadow. We'll take both of these, actually. 
It's a bit risky, but if this stops being an Eve run, it'll become a Judas run, so I mean, you know. Which kind of sucks, because that means we won't really unlock anything, but I think I'd rather keep the win streak going uh, than continue to get unlocks, because we're, we're, we're in a pretty good place unlock-wise. Also, this champion, yeah, I was going to say, fuck that guy. But we do have to play incredibly uh, careful. Wow, this is an awful room. Ah, yes, incredibly careful, he says. Yeah, this is what sucks, because they have spider movement patterns, but they fucking explode when you kill them. Alright, well this is this is a bit scary. Whew. They're fucking desyncing their shots, you see that? They're 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 whipping out some advanced tech. They didn't all shoot at the same time. Honestly, we did two shot these guys though. Wow, this is a lot of big rooms, which sucks. Oh, but we got one of the better big rooms, because you can just do this. I did not realize that was the champion. We almost just died there. Which, as I said, dying right now is fine, because it'll just turn us into Judas. Which, well, it sucks, because, you know, Eve is actually a pretty fun character. We'll just be playing as Judas with... Four of Babylon and Dead Bird. Judy Eve. Evis. Like bootleg holidays. Range down. Eh. Could be worse. Ugh, this item sucks. Rerolling enemies has never Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> you gotta know love this is an early morning recording. But it's a lot easier to record in the morning because ain't really doing shit. Woke up, took a shower, ate some ate some scrummy breakfast, and then got to recording because it's it, it's nice to have something to do in the morning. Spent my entire day yesterday shopping, bought some exotic fruit, which I can easily say was the most exciting day of my life. I love exotic fruit. I bought some fucking dragon fruit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, oh my god, that was spooky. But yeah, I brought some, bought some dragon fruit, bought some uh, rambutans. Bought some fucking, uh... What's it called? Uh, Rambutans, bought some, bought some pomegranates, some like fresh pomegranates, some fresh avocados, some mangoes. It was, it was very nice to go to the, the fruit store. And that pom, oh, and some tamarind, bought some tamarind too. But it was very nice. It was kind of pricey, but it was really good fruit. So I mean, how can you be mad? Exotic fruit is the shit though. That is that was some delicious shit. Those pomegranates were so good. But that's probably just because I haven't had pomegranate in a while. Oh, and this is our shop down here, so. The world. Yeah, I'd rather just keep the hermit. Sadly we just wasted some money, but that's alright. I'd rather have the hermit because it's a free shop. This is actually a pretty good boss when you have Bolitar, yeah, because you can just make a, a slowing trail for him, and then just beat the shit out of him. Also, our movement speed is ridiculously high, so we can dodge pretty much anything. <laughs> wow. How much damage do we do? 10 damage. So we are naturally doing Polyphemus damage now. 
This is what I'm saying. When I don't record, I get awful runs, but then I record and I get runs like fucking Cricket's Head, Magic Mushroom. Our Devil deal wasn't really anything special, because what did we get from our Devil? Dude, we got fucking what? Uh, Book of Belial and Judas's Shadow. Don't get me wrong, those are both good items, but they're not really stellar. I would have preferred something that wasn't Judas's Shadow for two hearts, but I kind of just took it because a pretty good item. I, I like Judas's item. Oh, whoa, Judas's item, yes. I like a lot of the Judas related items. Judas's tongue, Judas's uh, shadow. I think those are the two Judas items in the game. I will say this, Judas does, Judas and Azazel probably have some of the best early game unlocks in the game. Because Judas drops Judas's shadow, Book of Belial, um, Judas's tongue. Judgment. We're just gonna blow this goober up. Let's see if he gives us money or something. Bombs. Sadly, uh, even though I've been looking, that's what I was doing on the last floor. Even though I've been looking for tinted rocks, can't really find any, which is kind of shocking. Maybe I've just missed like a fuck ton, and I'm, I'm just stupid, but. I haven't uh, noticed any Tinted Rocks. Ludovico Technique. Nah. Uh, actually, yeah, sure. So Ludovico Technique just gives us a big controllable tier. Um, which, you know, is cool. It actually gives us better presence because we don't actually have to be near enemies to shoot them anymore. Um, so this item is strange because... It's, it's a bit of a toss-up whether people like this item or not. I like Ludovico Technique personally, I think it's a pretty good item. Because I think it synergizes well with a lot of things. It also has a lot of anti-synergies, but we don't talk about those. But this is an example of why it's good, because you don't have to be anywhere near the enemies to damage them. So, it really helps if you're playing a low health, uh, like, glass cannon character. So, your Judases, your your Eves, your Canes. Oh, there's a Finsterok. That'll probably hit it. Haha. <laughs> Yo ho ho. Oh, we literally one shot those goobers now. And this should be very simple. Another speed increase, so we're at like max movement speed. Pretty fly. Oh, now this. Now this. That's a good item. More damage. And health. <laughs> So we just traded away uh, three, we traded away one red heart for three black hearts and a sizable chunk of damage, which we take those, it's, that's amazing. But this, this run is slowly balling out of control. Not really slowly, that's, that's a wholehearted lie. A key and a bomb, or a bomb and a key. We'll spend both. Just because I have a lot of stuff. Oh, we got a key back, so. We'll take that. We might get another fucking double whammy scenario here. Get to do two runs and uh, one. All this run is missing, honestly, to be amazing, is flight. Some some form of flight would make this run awesome. Now, one thing I will say, though, about this run that does kind of suck. We have Book of Belial. The, the more damage you get, the less useful Book of Belial is. Because it's not a flat damage up, it's like a percentage damage up. It raises your damage by a certain threshold. So, if you recall, uh, near the beginning of the game, it raises your damage by like 2 point, or like 3.2 or something. But now if I use it, it'll raise my damage by like 2.7. So some diminishing returns on that, but it's still a damage increase for every boss fight. Yeah, I was gonna say, that kinda sucked. Do you wanna open up, buddy? You know, sometimes the hosts in this game, they just don't want to open up. Oh, no, these... Also, you know, it makes your tears not have any knockback because you're no longer firing them, so... Ludovico Technique's fun, and it also makes rooms like this a lot safer. 
Which is pretty much the best way to describe the item. It just makes your run safer. Unless you have, like, anti-grab or something. Which is a pretty fun synergy for this item. That is adrenaline, which doesn't really help us because we don't have red health. So adrenaline, the way this item works is the lower your red health, the more damage you do. But since we don't have red health, that's pretty worthless. Not the worst item I've seen. Um, Mom's Pearl is okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Yes. Fuck. Eh, I'll take a Mom's Pearl. I think this just gives us more chances to get blue hearts. If I'm correct, I may be totally wrong about that, but if I'm correct, then that'd be awesome. Yeah, 2.55, so it's, it's a much smaller damage increase now. But it's a damage increase nonetheless. And 2.5 with this damage is actually a pretty, pretty sizable one. Oh. More power. I mean, yeah, you, you, you clicked on this and you knew this was a one run. Come on. Come on. It's my channel you're watching. You knew this was a one run. I think so far we've only had one shitty run on the channel. And it was the slow burn run. I think that's the worst episode I've uploaded so far. Just because that run sucked. Yeah, we just have a fucking walking ball of death right now. A shot speed increase would actually be pretty cool here because shot speed when you have Ludovico technique just makes it so you can move your ball faster. So, actually a pretty decent status effect. And the way uh, shot or um, fire rate tears, the way that works when you have Ludovico technique is it makes your damage tick more often. Because if you notice, we deal tick damage now. Well. Holy shit, what the fuck? I've never understood that about these champions. They have like times six health. Ah! I was just getting fucking shook in the corner by a spider. But yeah, we do tick damage. So, a higher tears rate means more ticks per second, which means more damage. Camo Kid. How does this work with Ludovico technique? Do I just... Yeah, I was gonna say, do I just not get invisible? Yeah, okay. So, the way Camo Kid... Or, the way Camo Undies is supposed to work is whenever you walk into a room, you are invisible until you fire a shot, which means enemies are confused and they won't hit you. Like, they'll walk away from you. Uh, and then when you shoot, you know, obviously you lose the effect. It's not a very good item, but I thought, you know, like, with Ludovico technique, I could walk into a room, stand still, and then just use my fucking tear to obliterate everything. Did we get everything? Wow, we did. I mean, yeah, this is an example of a fight where we don't really need Book of Belial. We just have so much presence in this fight. I mean, there's not much to say here. Pretty typical mom fight. In the same mom you are. <laughs> hey, two picks of shots. Or, uh, Guardian Angel. Sissy Long Legs. Prayer Card. Or, like, I think that's Crazed Fan. It's gotta be one of these two. Um... I do really like Guardian Angel because it is a very good item. Yeah, we'll take Guardian Angel. Or oh, Seraphim. Guardian Angel is the other one. We don't have Guardian Angel unlocked because we don't have a uh, 
What's her face? We don't have Magdalene unlocked. Okay, which one of you assholes is just sitting here spitting out fucking balls? Actually, yeah, let's kill this goober first, because... Oh my god. It's gotta be one of the most annoying champion variants. Oh hey, some red health. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a rock there, I didn't even see it. I was gonna say, our damage output is ridiculous right now, so... I think the other enemy has the gate. This is what I'm saying. Look at this. Oh shit! I forgot he fucking spits enemies out. Oh my god, what the fuck? He's a fucking sniper! But yeah, I just think this item is great because it lets you focus more on dodging. Which is always a plus. Being able to focus... Would you like to slow down in war so I could fucking hit you? He doesn't say. Look how much damage our ticks do. It's like having like an eraser. Fuck. I was gonna say, I mean, this is like what, the widow or something? She just gets annihilated. Hello, Mega Ma. I was gonna say, who's our boss? The cool thing about the angels is uh, when they use their crossbeam attacks. Uh, they can actually damage other enemies with them, which is really cool. There's another one of you. No, there's not. I was gonna say, I mean, yeah, we can kill this goober, like, instantly. Just hold our... You just point over a guy, you click on him. Oh boy, we get a free soul heart for killing this guy. Anything that can keep me in the fight longer. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I explained, uh, so the way Sworn Protector works... Where's the Forsaken? I was gonna say. So the way Sworn Protector works, he's a little familiar, he follows us around, and he fires Sacred Heart Shots. Oh my god, where's my bullet? Okay. It's 
the uh, the issue with having really high shot speed with Ludovic. Hey, use my scara. Samson's ball and chain. Uh, I am quite all right, Mr. Isaac. Ugh, all right, let's. Um. Yeah, I'm not taking Samson's ball and chain. I kind of don't like that item. Whew, all right. So we get a nice little 20, 22 minutes. So this will probably end at around 30 minutes. Which means if we get an even better run after... Whoa, Camo Kid is activating. Oh, because I'm not moving my tier. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we're, anything that isn't a boss, we pretty much speed through. And even the, the mini bosses we get, we'll speed through. Aw, <laughs> oh, dude, this will be another great run to add to the, the compendium. But yeah, this item does have some very cool synergies. Um, namely, Brimstone and Technology are very cool. As they always are, because they're both just giant fucking laser beams. Like, what's not cool about that? Brimstone Ludovico is very cool, though. Because you just get this giant spinning orb of death that you can put anywhere. Yep, these are the gurglings who leave bombs instead of a blood trail. A uh, lost cork, so it makes our creep vigor. Which is interesting looking, but I actually just like the shot speed of this, because I like being able to move my tier with that high ass sensitivity. Aw, oh, that fucking sucks. Whew. Oh, fucking pretty fly and guardian, or no, yeah, pretty fly and ball of bandages. My saviors. Oh my god. Oh, this is scary. Whew. <laughs> sometimes you have to be good at dodging to play this game. And sometimes you just deal enough damage to not worry about dodging. Oh yeah, just so we can... Maximum power... Rotten meat, huh? We have one heart right now, so... Unless there's a Krampus fight in here. Fuck. Oh, that really sucks. Yikes. Please drop a lump of coal, Mr. Krampus. Thank you. Fuck, yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna get a... Wait, what? Where's our... Did we not get another red heart? Did I not... Did I never pick up that eternal heart? Oh, no, there it is. Damn. Yeah, so our damage just took a pretty, pretty fat decrease, because we are no longer in Whore of Babylon. Uh, it would be great to get a Hematemesis pill, or a health down, but sadly, yeah, that was a pretty dumb, dumb play. Unless there's a blood do okay, good. Great. I'm gonna say milk this thing as much as we can when we're here. Child's delicious, eh? That's a lucky penny. Oh yeah, so the way lump of coal works, by the way, this is a very good item for Ludovico technique. So the way uh, this item works is, so I'll just give you a little demonstration here. So if you notice, our tier is normal size, and the farther it gets from us, the bigger it gets. So the farther the the way this item works is, the farther your tier gets from you, the more damage it does, and the bigger it gets. Uh, which with Ludovico, it's very easy to distance yourself from your tier, because you literally outrun your tier. Unless, you know, you've got fucking pitiful movement speed. But yeah, I gotta do some, some off-camera work on this save. To unlock a bunch of, uh... A bunch of other items, like challenge items and shit, because I don't really... 
I think I've said actually I could do challenges on video That'd be a pretty cool one to do actually just do challenges on videos like this Where the run I did was already super short Because a lot of challenges in this game at least the like the first five challenges are super quick and easy Like we're just gonna do tech savvy as my first challenge because a I like the item you unlock from it and B it's a very easy challenge it just showcases a cool synergy, which is technology and homing shots. Oh yeah. Now I wish your damage counter told you how much damage you were doing with this. But if you guys saw there, we actually saw a pretty big damage hit when we lost our Babylon. Which just goes to show the power of this character again. Um, because normally, Whore of Babylon, an interesting little fact about it, it it's not supposed to proc at one heart, it's supposed to proc at half a red heart. But Eve, since she starts with it, her character's her gimmick is that she can still have a full red heart and uh, use Horror of Babylon. That's just a luck up, which we don't need. Don't even have to see where I'm shooting. Just gotta throw this giant orb of death down a hallway and see what happens. I'm just like instinctually backing up towards the door. Oh, this is a tinted rock. Yep, probably missed the Tinted Rock back on the first floor, but as I said, Tinted Rock's in the womb, that's my jam. Oh, right. Aw. Oh, fuck you. Oh. We didn't actually get a Satan run. Interesting. Well, there's another mom's heart kill. Which is great, but the story doesn't end here. We are going to do a challenge. I think we've already seen this ending. Because I think this is just becomes the multi-character end. Oh. Nope. Experimental treatment. Pretty good item. Experimental treatment has been found in the basement. Ah, look at this. The save file is coming together nicely. But yeah, we're just going to do tech savvy. Or computer savvy. Uh, because I believe it only goes to mom. Yeah, it goes to mom and you start with pretty good stats. So tech savvy, you play as Isaac with technology 1, technology 2, and spoon bender, which is just homing shots. It's, it's just a cool synergy. It's not meant to be like a difficult challenge. It's just showcasing some cool shit. Two of clubs duplicate my bombs. Oh, uh, there's actually a great room for that. Because... Tinted Rock. Whoa. The pinking shears. I haven't seen this item in years. Yeah, we're gonna take the pinking shears. Um, this is a god tier item. I love this item a lot. There's also no item rooms in this challenge, but that's fine. So the pinking shears, it detaches our head from our body, and our body becomes a familiar, uh, contact damage familiar, that deals like 10 billion fucking damage per tick. So, you know, good shit there. But yeah, this this will be a quick one. This is just kind of to, to fill out the episode, because I kind of like recording the almost hour-long Isaac episodes. It feels right. Wow, I just took damage. Not like it matters, because fucking... We already... Devil deals just make this run easier. And honestly, this run is super easy anyway. Haha, <laughs> bombs. Oh, wait. Full heal. But yeah, I, I like both these items individually. I like Technology and Technology Zero. Tech 2 is this continuous laser. And then Tech 1 is that laser that we shoot every other tick. Pretty good shit. Also, we have Anarchist Cookbook, which is an item I don't really like too much, but... You can do this, I guess. You can just fucking nuke a boss. Unless it does that and pushes all the bombs away from the boss. Now, is this the one with four sprints? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but then he stays tired longer. 
the normal dingle. Yeah, no double deal, but we got box. Which has broken remote and the hanged man. We'll take the hanged man, but that's about all we're taking from here. Nice, quick, and easy run. The only thing that you would really ask for this run from your boss fight items is damage. Because uh, Technology 2 is a pretty sizable damage down because it's it gives you a really fast ticking projectile that isn't dependent on your tears rate. We have tanky enemies take a while to kill. Thankfully though, since we have homing, pretty much every enemy dies around the same time. Uh, because they're all getting damaged at around the same time. So yeah, unless enemies are like super split up like this. It also, you know, makes some cool little visual effects like the little twirl. Also, also, I didn't explain it last time. These black poops. Oh, we are not using Anarchist Cookbook in this. I fucking hate this boss. That's so annoying. Fuck it. We already took damage. Wow. That's really fucking aggravating that he did three quick jumps in a row. Like, as I said, Devil Deal is not necessary, but I'd prefer to, you know, get some damage because this shit is going to take, like, ten years. So getting tears up actually does still matter because tech one is still dependent on your tears rate. So now you'll hear, like, the clicking sound a lot faster with the, uh... That, if you notice, our right eye is shooting much faster now. Now we have a 100% chance to get a double deal as far as long as you don't take damage. But with my luck... Oh my god, I just realized I traded in the pinking shoes for Anarchist Cookbook. What the fuck did I just do that for? I had boss fight killing power. <laughs> I mean, what? We're on caves too, right? Yeah, there's only two floors left. It's literally like a quick little five minute like tech demo challenge. Pun entirely intended. I don't think these guys, yeah, these guys don't interfere with Devil Deal chances, so we're gonna play with him. Caffeine pill. Uh, I actually like the speed increase. Paralysis doesn't do anything. Just hold you still for a few seconds. And a bomb beggar. That, those guys are kind of rare. I don't think they give you much, though. Oh, they just give you bomb items. Scatter bombs. We put bombs in your bombs. That would have been a much cooler scatter to get. We could skip this floor if we want. Just because we actually haven't used a bed in this save yet, and there's one item that you have to unlock by sleeping in a bunch of beds. So, there you go, you get to see the bed animation in the Binding of Isaac after Birth Plus. Oh, Lucky Penny. Whew. Got a lot of money though. We could hit up a shop because I believe you start the game with Champion's Belt unlocked, uh, which is a very good item. As the uh, the homing on technology is a bit finicky at times, but usually it works. Yeah. If there's enemies split up in an equal pattern like this when you're in the start of a room, it'll just flick rapidly between the two enemies, or the two sets of enemies. A beggar with a lot of money behind him. I mean, we have a lot of money anyway, so I'll just do this. I still can't believe I'm such a goober. I really threw away the pinking shears. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Why does scatter bombs work on fucking troll bombs? Oh my god. We're just never gonna get a devil deal this run, and we're never gonna get a damage increase. It's the running joke of this run, I guess. Um, let's go look for the shop, so I can probably just find something. I mean, I don't need to. We're already gonna be on the last floor soon. Oh, there it is. Alright, didn't have to search too much, unless it's a library. But, I think this is a shop. Wow, and it's greed. Can you give me my pinking shears back? Oh, 
wow. Well, at least now we know. Anarchist Cookbook and... Um... What's the shit called? Um... Scatter Bombs is a pretty good synergy, unless you're fighting a boss. In which case, it's not a very good synergy. Alright, let's see what we can make happen here. We actually have soul hearts now, so we might get one double deal before the run's over, but as I said, with my luck, it's just gonna be a fucking Krampus fight. Now, this might be a library, because it's very close to spawn. Nope. This is actually a really good item. We're gonna take Mystery Gift with us. So... Uh, if I remember, the way this item works is, wherever you put it down, it'll give you an item that's in that pool. So, like, if we bring it to a devil deal, it'll give us a devil deal item. If we bring it to an angel room, it'll give us an angel item. Things like that. Um, which is really cool. Yeah, now these are rooms you like to see homing in, where you can kill things before you even see them. Two tick damage runs in a row, though. That's pretty interesting. You know, it's always weirded me out in this game that Monstro can't look directly down and then fire. Because there's no, like, animation for it. There we go. Let's see if we get a good item from our boss fight. Speedball. What's our devil deal? It is not Krampus. Dark Bum, sure. Then we'll take Spirit of the Night, because I like this item. And we'll take Guppy's Hairball, just because of the health up. It's pretty much free. And I should have let Dark Bum eat those hearts, but, you know. And the one devil deal we got gave us no form of damage. Ain't that swell. We do have spectral tears though, which means now our laser doesn't stop up pro uh, or, uh, obstacles. So. Whoa. Yeah, there's the there's the wonky homing. It looks fucking awesome though. <laughs> doesn't the sound of a high fire rate tech just put you to sleep. Sounds like fucking technological rain. It's like raining outside in like the fucking distant future and it's just neon garbage outside your window. It's like the atmosphere is so polluted it just starts raining like literal neon gas. Cool concept for like a cyberpunk novel universe but BFFs, why not? Make our two allies bigger and beefier and stronger too. The first member of the Binding of Isaac crew. Dark Bum. Or DB. Dark Bum. I would be really upset if the boss was. I, I thought. <laughs> I heard the fucking boss fight music and I got excited. I was gonna say, I thought I, would, I was gonna be very disappointed if the boss was right next to spawn. Another health up. Ah, now that's the room right there. These are good homing rooms. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. The little fucking, like, twirl it does. This is the last floor, right? Yeah, okay. Took took ten minutes to do this. Which ain't too bad. Wow, these have all been very good pills. Except the range doesn't matter because we have infinite range. Because we we're using tech. Oh, so it's either going to be through this big room. Nope, it's that tiny room in the corner. We could have ignored this room altogether. Also, Guppy's hairball is just an item we can whack people with. So if they get too close to us, we can just bonk them. Ooh, thank god we have high movement speed. We we'll also have a bunch of money, which is awesome. And our last item of the run is Bob's head. 
I was gonna say, does that also make scatter bombs or no? Trying to get my the most out of Guppy's hairball here, just because it's a it's a pretty cool item. It's like you get a flail. It's got like real physics. Also, this mom soundtrack, whew. or right, this boss fight soundtrack is just. I would like to give you guys a chance to appreciate the music. see what items we would have gotten from this damage of course all right well there's the challenge boys and girls that was a pretty good one oh that doesn't unlock tech 5 it's fucking robo baby right well i mean that ain't bad still had a great time doing it and that that was a pretty good episode we got a pretty decent amount of shit unlocked we got our first set of eve shit done Wow, every character that we've played has a boss rush done, which is awesome. Because usually that's one of the last things I do, but we've gotten a lot of them unlocked. But yeah, if you guys like what you saw, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, this is me, Melting Explodes Bloodily, with the Binding of Isaac, Aftermath Plus. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.